Welcome, my name is Bill Gerber. I'm uh, doing a tips and tricks video for the new Samsung Art TVs or Frame TVs. And uh, just a quick tutorial on how to, um, how I've been setting them up so users can have the ability to turn the art mode on uh, and off, whether they want it on or off, uh, and uh, how it will automatically come on when the zone turns off. And uh, if it's, for instance, in a bedroom, they can actually select on the custom page to turn it off and uh, not have it display. Um, so let's get right into this. This is a config that's already built. Um, and I have the family room TV right here uh, in the family room. And that is the frame TV. So um, we're going to have to do a handful of steps to kind of make this automation happen in the background. And the first thing we're going to do is create a uh, state variable, user state variable. And what, it, what we're going to do is this is a way we can track the track information that um, has nothing to do really with the Savant system, but it's maybe user information. So um, we're going to call this art mode enabled. And we're going to make it Boolean. So it's either true or false. And we're going to start it off as false. So art mode is not enabled. Um, then uh, what we're going to want to do is create a uh, couple workflows to cause that art mode to become enabled and not enabled. So we're going to have to generate services. And since this art is, this frame is in the family room, we're going to do all our custom workflows in the family room. So we're in our family room. We go to general programmable services. This is where all your custom workflows should live. Um, only specific cases that they should live in the actual components. Um, so we're going to go over here to service uh, requests and we're going to generate a new service request. And this is going to be enable art mode. And we'll create another one, disable art mode. And this this is really just going to um, uh, change that Boolean uh, state variable. That's what this, this workflow is going to do. Uh, we also then need um, a workflow to turn the art mode on physically on the TV. So TV art on. And um, we don't necessarily need a TV art off because we're either going to power off the TV or we're going to turn it to another source like cable or Apple TV. So um, we have TV art on and then we have TV off. Now we have to do TV off here and I'll show you that in a minute. It's because uh, we're actually going to disable the system from automatically turning off the TV. So um, let's go ahead and um, we're actually going to uh, save this real quick. And then we can come back to our workflows that we were just working on. And we're going to go to disable art mode. And the item we're going to be looking for in Automator is um, state, uh, Savant State Setter. So we're going to select that and place that in here. Um, it is a user defined scope and the state name. Now, the reason I saved my file is because it allowed me to pull this up. Um, if you don't save it, you'll have to type it in here exactly how you typed it into uh, uh, the user state variables. So I'm selecting art mode enabled. I'm changing it to Boolean because that's how I want that tracked. And this is disable art mode. So I want to set this Boolean to zero or false. And I go ahead and save that and I can close that. And then I want enable art mode and we're going to build this the same way. 
but we are going to put on this because this is enable we're going to make this a one for true and we're going to save that close that uh, a couple other things while we're in here so tv art mode on so we're going to go in here and um, we're actually going to be controlling the tv so we want to get the family room tv and we're going to put it in here twice. Um, the reason we want to put it in here twice is if the TV is actually off, we're going to want to turn on the TV. So we're going to go in here, universal, and power on the TV. Um, if the TV's already on, the TV has discrete codes, so it's just going to ignore this. But if it's not on, it's going to make sure it's on. Then we're going to go under here, and then under custom resources, there is a art mode on. So this is what our TV art on should be, these two commands. Again, we're gonna save this and close this. And now we're gonna to go to TV off. And again, this is just the family room TV. So family room TV and universal and power off. All we're doing is powering off the TV because we are going to remove it from the automated workflows. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Now, I am not going to go into any of these services and edit these power on, power off commands. Do not do that. Once you edit them, the system will not update them and it turns into a service nightmare. If someone changes out the cable box, the power on for the TV in this zone will not get updated and will not work. So uh, don't edit the power on, power offs. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how we can do this and allow Savant to manage how it's gonna power, change the power on and power off. So we've created our workflows. Let's go ahead and now tell the TV. So we're gonna open the TV in Inspector. And we're gonna go to Component Control. And under component control, we are going to tell it to never power off. So the difference between do not manage power is it's not going to power it on or off, but we want it to power it on. Again, discrete codes, send the power on command every time we want to turn it on, so we make sure it's on. But don't power it off because if we're powering it off and art mode is enabled, we actually don't want the TV to go off. We want it to go into art mode. So we're going to check that checkbox. And you'll see that this automatically turned orange, which means it's going to want to generate services again because it has to remove that power off command from all the off, off the workflows. So we'll go ahead and generate services again. And if you're curious, you can go into the family room and you can go under the cable TV service and you can look at what this power off workflow says. And when we scroll in, see it's turning off the cable box, but there's no TV power off anymore. That was in there. Uh, I didn't show it to you before, but um, it has now been removed. So um, now that the power off isn't there, we need to write triggers to manage that power off. So we're going to review our triggers. And I don't have any in here, um, and we'll just make the uh, trigger for the family room. Art TV on. We need to make two. One is going to turn the art mode on. One is going to turn the art mode off. Um, you can't do this in one workflow because there are um, instances where um, it, it may not be on and it may not be off. And if you just do it as a um, uh, if then else, you might do something to the TV that you're, you may turn off the TV unintentionally. So um, art mode on and family room TV, TV off. So working from here, we're going to open up our SRS window. And um, family room art TV on. So we want this art mode to turn on 
when this zone, the family room zone, doesn't have an active video service. So zone has video. So we want the family room art to turn on if the zone does not have video. But remember, we also created that custom variable. So we want to go under other, user defined, and here's my art mode enabled. So I wanna put this in here because I only wanna turn on art mode if art mode is enabled and the family room doesn't have video. Um, if we forget to put this on, art mode's gonna come on every single time. Maybe someone wants that, that's perfect. You can skip this step. Um, the zone has video. We don't want art mode to come on just because art mode's enabled because then if cable TV is selected, it's not gonna go to cable TV. It's gonna stay here at art mode. So once we do that, uh, we've said, okay, the video service is gone and art mode is enabled. So now we want to run the, um, art, the TV art mode workflow that we, we created. So we're gonna search for it here, family room, general programmable services. And we're gonna go here to TV art on and put that right there. So now that's gonna turn the art mode on on the TV when that happens. Now the next step we're gonna do is when we wanna turn the TV off. So again, we're gonna go back in here to the zone has video is false. And the other piece that we're gonna do is just like before, the art mode. So now the zone doesn't have video and art mode is not enabled. That's when we're gonna turn off the family room TV. Um, and that's why you can't have um, it all built in one workflow because you need to have the zone not have video. Um, and, and otherwise you will wind up with the, with the TV going into art mode or the TV going off when you don't want it to. So family room TV off. And this is where we wanna go back and grab that other workflow, family room, general programmable services, TV off. All right, this, this is gonna be it. This is, those are the commands to turn on the, the art mode and to turn off the TV. Um, everything else is still there automatically generated for going to cable and Apple TV and all that. So we're gonna click save on this. Now, uh, if, if you may or may not be wondering, well, art mode by default is off. How do we get the user able to turn on art mode? Um, in the Pro app, what we're gonna do is use Savant App Custom Screens. And we are gonna add a custom screen, Family Room Art Mode. And we're gonna make that available in the Family Room. And then we're gonna add the buttons. Now, what I like to do is I like to add a label with two buttons. So it's kind of laid out like that. Um, and it's, it's pretty nice because now I can go in here, um, TV art mode, and we're gonna create these two buttons. One is gonna be enabled, one of them is gonna be disabled. And we can have the feedback right here. So there's a toggle title and a title. So the title is going to be enable and if it's toggled on it's going to be enabled and I'll come back and I'll put the commands on here and I'll put the toggle information on here as well but then the other button is going to be disable and disabled okay the last piece is now actually putting the commands on here. So again, into our SRS window. And these are the commands that we built, family room, general programmable services, to enable art mode. So we're gonna put enable art mode on our press command. 
We're going to go down here to disable and disable art mode on our press command. And then so that our buttons actually show the right feedback, we are going to go to other and under our user defined variables. Now, this is the reason I made this Boolean is because that's how these states work and turn these buttons on or off. So this button will turn on when it's true. So our enabled will turn on when it's true. That's perfect. And then down here at the disabled, our enabled, we don't want it the same. We actually want it the inverse because when, when our is enabled is true, we don't want that to show as disabled. We want when art mode is enabled is false. We want this to be disabled. So we're going to check the check marks to inverse that state. So we can have one Boolean that does both sides of the toggle. Um, and that's pretty much it. So what's going to happen, so I'll hit apply on this. I, actually, before I hit apply, um, so what the user will see is on a custom page, they're going to see TV art mode, and you can label this however you want. And when the system starts up, it's going to be disabled, and this will be, be highlighted, and it'll say disabled because that's what we put in here. Then when they go and click enabled, or enable, it'll switch to enabled, and this will highlight. And if the TV's off, the TV will come on and go right into art mode. Then when they go and select Apple TV, the TV will switch out of art mode properly, go to Apple TV and everything, and when they turn off the TV, because art mode is enabled, it'll go right back into art mode. I find this is a great way for users to have easy control of whether art mode is on or off. Um, you can always add timers and things to the back end. So if it's it automatically shuts off the art mode, you know, at, at 10 p.m. or something like that, especially if it's in a bedroom. Um, so the one other thing, because that's on a custom page, I recommend it's easy to go in here under review Savant app preferences. And this is where you're going to see all of the service icons that are going to show up at the bottom. Well, since we only have one custom page and it's the art TV, I don't like to leave it labeled custom because it doesn't make sense to the customer. So go in here and mark that art mode or family room TV, however you want to label it to be clear to the to the, the end user that that's going to help them configure the art mode on the TV. But now across the bottom of the app, instead of this icon and being custom, it's going to be this icon and say art mode. You'll be like, oh, this is how I'm going to change the art on the uh, or the art mode on, on the TV. Uh, hopefully that was uh, uh, helpful to you. I know I ran through that real quick. Um, please feel free to uh, comment, send me emails, whatever. Glad to help out with this one. Uh, I see this happening more and more frequently on, on installs, and I think this is a great way to give the end user uh, the flexibility of doing what they want with, with the Art TV. Uh, have a great day.